Wait, why don't just release a Sesame Street set? Huh, looks like one of the buildings has some holes on the side, but no expansion set yet. That's very weird. Hello everybody, my name's Andrew from Brickmeister Z. And last year, I made a video about LEGO Ideas retiring the Sesame Street set by the end of 2022. What I said in this video is that LEGO has not made an expansion to that set yet. The only set that we got was the Brownstone Apartment Building, as well as the Hooper Store with Technic Pin Holes on the side. And that is how you can connect other buildings to expand Sesame Street. Kind of like how LEGO made a new modular building every year. So my guess is that if LEGO won't release an official Sesame Street expansion set anytime soon, I'll have to make one myself. So this is what my custom expansion set looks like. The other half of the Hooper Store building. How I designed it is that the official LEGO set has one side of the Hooper Store, but not the other one. In my opinion, I didn't like how that design turned out with those open walls. But with one half, I connected the other half to close up the building entirely. This works a lot better, especially using Technic pins. And yes, there are a few more holes that I added on the other side to expand more buildings. The design of the exterior is very similar to the other half of Hooper's store, but a little bit different. I designed the same awning pattern by adding the slope curved pieces in white and dark green. And that's right above the windows and a stickered 2x6 tile of this checker pattern. And when you turn the model around, you will see the inside. On the first floor, you'll find the same design of different Hooper's products on store shelves. And this is a reference to the official LEGO set. Speaking of references, you will find Ernie's drum set located on the second floor. And of course, this is actually a reference to Sesame Street's 280th episode of how Ernie played his drum set like in the TV show. Clever! And like I said, these Technic pins popping out can connect to the other half of Hooper's store as well as adding future buildings to expand Sesame Street. Oh, and finally, I did not include Grover and the Count because LEGO never made official minifigures of these missing characters, especially requiring new pieces like molded heads. Keep that in mind is that this is a custom set that I made, but not an official product. If LEGO does make an official Sesame Street expansion set, they will have to add in those missing minifigures, as well as expanding more buildings like the Fix-It Shop and the Laundromat. And I think this will be perfect for Sesame Street's 55th anniversary next year in 2024. Even though this TV show first aired way back in 1969. Well that concludes the video, and I do hope you enjoy my custom LEGO Sesame Street expansion set. If you want to check it out, it's up on Rebrickable. And there should be a link in the description of this video where you can download the instructions and buy those pieces. In the comments, let me know what you think about my custom set. Don't forget to subscribe to the Brickmeister Z channel for more LEGO videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye.